Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of automatic payment program in SAP system. We also call it as APP. We use transaction code F110 to process automatic payment pro pay, uh, payments in SAP. Basically, we use automatic payment program to process mass payment when there are like multiple payments. Basically, we have uh, multiple methods in SAP system to process payment. Like we have uh, F-53 wherein we do manual payments, F-58 payment with check and we have F-110 where we do mass payment. Okay, so as per SAP system, uh, automatic payment program identifies only audio invoices. Audio invoices means where due date is reached, means the line term which are due for payment. Here in automatic payment program, it's divided into four steps. Like we also call it as four P's here so as to understand this so these are parameters proposal payment and print in parameter section we do maintain uh, payment run date then payment identification for the the company code for which line terms are due then payment method that we have to use maybe it's like transfer check or something then next payment due uh, next payment date due, due date and then sorry next payment date then uh, suppliers actually supply for which we have to do payment then we have proposal so proposal is basically before payment we run proposal here in proposal system will show you list for the payments which are okay for payment and which are not okay not okay in the sense where we have errors so there may be different reason for error here some examples are like uh, in some cases like business partner uh, payment details are not mentioned that is like payment bank details are not mentioned then like house bank is not mentioned there in the business partner master data or like payment method is not mentioned there but like different reason also if your line term is blocked for payment then these line terms will be not paid through automatic payment program <laughs> here system will always consider only due line terms okay next we have payment so during payment system will post payment document also it will clear this vendor line terms here <coughs> then we have print so with print option system will create dme then payment advices in system okay let us understand this with system demo before we start with automatic payment program let us see which line terms are due for payment so i'm using vendor line term display transaction code yeah here you can see there are two suppliers where we have open line terms in which if you see here this line term uh, document number 18 uh, ending with 18 is blocked for payment here then uh, document number ending with 11 is having payment method c then for the next supplier this document number ending with 20 is not due so this not due line term will not be considered in payment so again in there in the proposal this line term will not be shown further this payment block line term will be considered during payment but it will be in error because we have to remove payment block there so i'll show you how we can remove payment block even directly from f110 so let us proceed further so f110 here we have to maintain then uh, date a run date here okay now i'll take this two for example so always we have to mention run date and then identification so i have considered run date as 22nd of march and then for identification of this i have mentioned this stage two in case you have multiple payments in a single day you can identify with different identifications here okay since parameters are not entered so it's showing that no parameters enter it here now let us enter parameters now company code then payment method so here i have two payment method one is t for transfer and c for check so i'll be using this two now we have to always consider next posting date here should be greater than the current uh, posting date so maybe i'll consider as this one anything but greater than posting date then supply i'll be putting this in the range then free selection basically we use this free selection to select or exclude line term based on this selection criteria so we have different selection criteria here either one is with document then supplier master or customer master record let us see what options are available with document so if you see with document there are multiple options here one 
like you can include exclude line terms by considering these assignments specific assignment then fiscal year document number posting date etc there are different options so i'm not using this because i have to select all line terms in my case then additional log so i mean while we make a payment and while we do this proposal system will show you log which will i mean help you to analyze in case there are errors or which gl accounts are system considering during payment it will be captured through this log so i'll be selecting this so yeah one thing to note here that this payment method only one option you will be able to choose here then for which accounts i need that i'll be putting here then print out or medium print out or data medium so here we have to mention this print out so this program are coming directly from uh, this payment method configurations so if you observe i have considered payment methods to this t and c transfer and check here for the transfer i have configured as dme and for check i have configured this pmw if you are interested to understand how i have configured or which forms i have used you can ping me in comment okay so i'll be selecting here variant for this one so 1000 is relevant here for payment method c i'll be selecting here so this will create a check fine now save this parameter <coughs> now my parameters are saved here so parameters are ready let us execute proposal so i am clicking on start immediately i'm not selecting payment medium because i don't want to create uh, this output formats for proposal okay execute i'll click on display yeah there is error because i know let us see proposal log you see here this vendor are already containing another proposal <coughs> meaning this is a real business case actually when you have already considered this any vendor or the supplier in another proposal you have to either delete that proposal or you have to complete that first so in my case what happened i have already considered this vendor in another proposal first i have to delete that so i'll be deleting that proposal okay you see here this proposal is already created now what we have to do is go to edit then proposal and then delete i will also delete the parameter because i don't need that now delete this parameter now let us go back to our current <coughs> identification i think yeah this one second okay you see here now since this proposal was in error now we have to rerun this so before that we have to delete this proposal delete this okay now we will execute this proposal again now start immediately and click okay now proposal is running let us click on status you see here now display proposal yeah it looks fine now yeah see here display proposal log so if you remember here in the additional log we have selected this due date and all right so you will see the proposal log here in proposal log basically this is very important thing here we have to always consider a log because in case your payment is getting failed you should know why it's getting failed right to analyze or to see the root cause this is very important here now you see here there are different document numbers which are considered for this vendor code here okay now let us scroll down yeah <clears throat> this is dummy document number which will be created for this vendor code first vendor code you see here my payment method t is selected here with this bank account this is the house bank okay and uh, also from the house bank configuration these amounts are uh, checked here you see here this clear it is nothing but the account symbol yeah one thing to mention here i'm running this proposal or this automatic payment in yesvohana system considering my bank account is this cash type actually this new bank account in yesvohana okay new bank account type as a cashier wherein i'll be i have created bank account as a reconciliation account and this sub account as a uh, this outgoing bank gl as a sub accounts here if you want to know that process please let me know in chat box okay so yeah this was the gl reconciliation gl i have considered here which is picked up correctly now we can see the same thing for another vendor yeah for the same vendor if you, you see here this payment method c is also considered and also gl account is being picked correctly and this is for the second vendor okay sorry this below one this is for second vendor which is correct here now let us go back if you want to see which i mean yeah again one thing is there actually we saw that there was one line term in error status right now let us see and correct that error you see here this is in error status now let us see why this is in error 
double click on line item again here you see here payment block as i shown you earlier this line item is block for payment so we have to remove this block right now i'll just remove this and just click on ok yeah since my company code has multiple house bank accounts i mean the multiple payment methods actually under one house bank so system will give you option which <coughs> one you have to consider here so i have considered t here click ok save and go back now you might be wondering why there are two line terms here actually right i mean why uh, it's considered in two in the supplier right twice here now double click i'll tell you the reason you see here this is this all these line terms will be processed through payment method t here this bank account so system will group line term based on your payment method and you see here here system will show you payment method c because this is another line term so system will group this line term based on the payment method and now one more thing here as i shown you earlier here you have two line terms for this vendor code right here only one line term will be considered the 19 one 20 will not consider because this net due date is not reached means our uh, this posting date or the current payment date is not reached till the, i mean its line item is not due actually here now double click on this line term you see here only one line term is picked here okay and here payment method is t now how you can see in list view now click on edit then go to proposal and then proposal list here click ok you see list complete list you will be able to see here along with this bank account which will be considered and the payment with respect to this payment methods are grouped here okay now let us click on payment run here now during this payment run i need this payment medium or this uh, dme as well as uh, this payment address that's why i'm selecting as a payment medium click ok now payment is being run okay payment is running now click on status it's still running okay two are generated one completed okay now three are generated should be completed now let us see that status is still not turned to green so we'll just click on status okay now it's green here means everything is completed here now click on payment you'll see here actual payment documents here okay these are actual payment document these are the reconciliation gl or the clearing gl basically okay this is reconciliation gl and this is clearing gl in s as i said we follow this reconciliation uh, concept and the sub account concept here now these line terms are paid here okay now we will validate this payment information click on edit then go to payment and you see payment list here click ok you see here these are the payment which we have made here okay respect to house bank then account number everything is shown here now we'll see dme dme should have been generated here click on enrollment payment medium then dme administration you see here this dme is generated here okay now i will download this dme click on download button here this is default path we have to change the path so i'm giving this uh, desktop path here dme for payment for example now when you have integration with third party system or maybe bank in that case what will happen your dme will automatically save to al11 directory path okay so i think in my system also i have already configured so this will also save to al11 directory path here automatically click ok and from that al11 path it will be moved to bank server okay now i'll show you this file in xml format this is my payment file let me show you in uh, xml pretty print okay yeah you see here this file is generated in this xml format if you want to understand which format i have used or how i have configured please do let me know this is configuration so i have not covered configuration in current video now you see here these payments are grouped based on your vendors actually you'll see here all bank details and payment details here in this file okay so this is how dme is generated now i'll show you payment advices there are two ways you can access payment advice here okay let us go back either you can like go to from system and then uh, here in the spool request or directly you can call transaction code sp02 anything is okay you see here yeah 
now since we were having two type of payment one was uh, for transfer and another for uh, check right now let us see check print here check check is already print here you see here yeah check is print i'm using standard format actually i have not customized it in actually in practically you and during your practical uh, consulting actually in the project you have to always um, customize it as per your business requirement in such cases you'll be having this uh, logo of your company code and vendor details and this format will be good actually and we always like uh, take this print on your uh, check checkbook print here okay check number is already allotted here okay let us go back now you'll also see payment advices which for which is for this one another okay these details are not updated here maybe i'll show you in another okay here this one okay okay this is for another vendor actually my one vendor this payment is not updated this is payment summary okay yeah for second one i think it's uh, dme file so it's not updated here but anyways so this is how we do configure this uh, payment mediums or the format now you see here these line terms these are already cleared here right now i'll just go to list and then refresh okay only one line term is showing which is not due here now let us see cleared items so cleared items for today's date execute okay you see here all line terms are cleared here okay in today's date here in the second vendor or the supplier only one line term was there which is cleared okay earlier there was one line term which was reversed okay you see here now let us see payment document or the check number here go to environment then check information okay this is the check number allotted here okay i think uh, the check number was shown there in the different in payment advice so we can also configure how payment check number should be issued okay there is a settings actually fine so in my case it was different in payment i mean the system has considered two check numbers but yes we do configure this actually as per our need very same check number can be shown here also you can see the check number with uh, uh, check register also yeah so basically this way we do uh, automatic payments in sap system okay i hope this video is useful to you to let me know if you have uh, any doubts on this process okay i'll be happy to help you yeah thanks for watching this video